Hey Omis, I'm Stephen Iwaski from Adventure Yoga. Thanks for joining me for this yoga sequence breakdown of Surya Namaskar A. In this class, I'm gonna work to help you fit together the pieces of Surya Namaskar A so you can start to find your flow in this sequence. I am not, though, going to give you detailed instructions for every pose in the sequence because I've already written blog posts and made videos for all of that. So if you need more help with any of the individual poses, in the description for this video, you'll find links to every single blog post for every one of the poses in this sequence. And on each of those blog posts, there's a video, there's step-by-step -step instructions, there's a list of the benefits, there's so much information. But in this class, we're gonna to work to put all that together into this sequence called Surya Namaskar A. Please stand at the top of your mat in Tadasana, and I'll meet you there in just a few seconds. Let's do our Surya Namaskar A breakdown. Please stand at the top of your mat in Tadasana. I'm gonna do Surya Namaskar today with my feet hip distance apart. It's generally how I teach it because it usually shows up quite early in my practice, in my classes. And so my hamstrings still need a little time to open up and I like the space for forward folds. So you can also do this feet together if you'd like. For the first round of Sorry Namaskar A, I will walk us through it a little bit slowly and then we will do two rounds with breath. To start though, Tadasana, mountain pose. Stretch your arms at your sides, look forward. Straighten your legs, straighten your spine, straighten your arms. Stretch your arms up. So arms up, arms straight. Since my feet are hip distance apart, I'm doing Urdhva Hastasana. So arms, hands, shoulder distance apart, palms facing each other, and my gaze forward. If your feet are together, you can look up and bring your hands together in Urdhva Namaskarasana. And then fold forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. If you can touch the ground with legs straight, do. If you need to bend your knees to touch the ground, do that. Stretch your spine long. And then Ardha Uttanasana. I'm Generally have students come up onto their fingertips. So come up onto your fingertips, wrists under your shoulders, straighten your arms and lift your chest and lengthen your spine. Half forward fold or Ardha Uttanasana. Plank pose isn't really part of Surya Namaskar A, but we usually include it or we often include it as a transition between Ardha Uttanasana and Chaturanga Dandasana. So in this round, we will step back to plank pose. So that's what's next. Place your hands and step back to plank pose. Push through your hands and your toes. And if you would like to bring your knees to the ground for plank and into Chaturanga Dandasana, do that. Bend your elbows and lower your chest, Chaturanga Dandasana. Work to bring your shoulders as high as your elbow. Broaden the space between your shoulder blades and then upward facing dog. Place your feet flat, lift your chest, keep your knees off the ground, hips off the ground, move your shoulders down, lift your chest up. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, upward facing dog. And then downward facing dog. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips up and back. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Bring your ears in line with your shoulders and steady your breath. When we move forward, I generally teach that at the bottom of your exhale, and you hold your breath out as you come forward so that it's then inhale into Ardha Uttanasana, or half forward fold. So like this, wherever you are in your breath, exhale, bend your knees, lift your heels, and look forward. And with your breath out, walk or float forward to the top of your mat, and come to your fingertips, Ardha Tanasana. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Push through your feet and stand up. Urdhva Hastasana, if your feet are hip distance apart. 
or hands together, Urdhva Namaskarasana. Keep your feet are together. And bring your arms to your sides. Tadasana. That is Surya Namaskar A. So let's put it together into the flow. It'll move a lot faster and we'll move with our breath. All you have to do is your best. And if you're a little bit behind, that's fine. Do your best to stay with me. This first round, I'll use the English so it might be a little easier for you to understand what poses we're doing. That depends on whether English is your first language, I suppose. Mountain pose. Stretch your arms at your sides, stretch your legs straight, and look forward. Exhale. Upward hands. Inhale. Fold forward. Forward fold. Exhale. Half forward fold. Inhale. Chaturanga Dandasana, or four limbed staff pose. Make your own way there. Exhale. You can float back to it or step back and lower. Exhale. Upward facing dog. Inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. We'll take three breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Bend your knees, lift your heels, look forward and exhale. And with your breath out, move forward, float or walk. Come to your fingertips, Ardha Uttanasana, half forward fold, inhale and forward fold, exhale. Stand up, reach up or the Hastasana or Namaskarasana, inhale and mountain pose, exhale. For this last round, I'll use the Sanskrit names and it will go a little bit faster. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. And exhale, make your way to Chaturanganasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukhashwanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukhashwanasana. Three breaths here, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Bend your knees. Exhale. Look forward and with your breath out, float or walk. Ardha Uttanasana. Inhale. Exhale. Uttanasana. Urdhvahasana. Inhale. And exhale, Tadasana. And that's Surya Namaskar A. Practice, and it will become more fluid. Namaste. I hope this has helped you learn how to put together the pieces of Surya Namaskar A. Thanks for joining me for class. If you're starting to figure this sequence out and you want to work on it some more, Here's a class of mine where I break down Surya Namaskar A and Surya Namaskar B into a class and we put it together and we work on both of those sequences. It's really fun. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, just click on my picture over there to subscribe. Thanks, homies.